at 17, um, I started washing cars to make a living with my brother. It was a new business, new idea mm -hmm. um, for one year. And then I started another, uh, I was looking for opportunities, so I started a job. And then I got into a network marketing uh, business. Um, so I started to influence myself around different people and uh, start reading books uh, about life, wealth, health, entrepreneur, leadership. Sure. And then uh, within this time, I met the uh, I discovered a talented artist, an artist who the more time I spent with him, the more talent I discovered within him, and. Um, and a lot of this um, vision that I had was through his artwork, like how I discovered him was just all his art. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a art piece that he was a good drawer, which was what which was what the neighborhood seen him as. It just mm -hmm. the uh, the dude that knows how to draw who they thought was actually kind of weird, and uh, which 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 I would define that as unique, and um, and. Uh, and when they said it was a, a good a good drawer, I, just, I defined that as a, a great artist, mm -hmm. you know. And then I actually lived in that studio, and that uh, it was actually a garage that was converted into a studio. I lived in there for like three months because I was homeless for two days. Mm -hmm. I left my brother's house, left his business, got a job somewhere else. I was looking, my yeah, had a job somewhere else. And then uh, this is, I was 18 years old, and Royal, who's uh, there, I barely met. Like and seen him a couple times, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind of weird. But I was like, you know what, this guy's a cool guy. And then somehow I had his, got his number, and uh, I remember we got into a little uh, uh, situation once. Uh, but I realized that this person wasn't unlike any other person within mm -hmm. the neighborhood. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I realized this person, there was like he had a lot of light on him. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of light, and um, and one day I was. Uh, sleeping in my car for a day two out of all my friends, what I thought were my true friends. Did not even give me a guest house to stay in, a backyard, a, a, a front lawn. I was like, anything, sleep on with a blanket. So I called Royal, and then out of all people, a stranger who I barely knew, well, you know, I, I knew there was something different about this person. Somehow I said, yeah, you know, we, you remembered me, and uh, we had some good uh, introductions when we met him. We had a good... Uh, uh, conversation, so he remembers that, hey, you're the guy that we talked about this, and like, yeah, oh yeah, he's like, come on by, he goes, I'm, we're just painting, you know, that's all I'm doing, painting. Mm -hmm. So I cruise on by, and then somehow I end up living there for three months, and uh, in the night, I slept in the night, mm -hmm. and worked in the day, and uh, what he did in, and what he did in the night, he painted the night and slept in the day. So while I was sleeping, he's out painting, and while I'm working, he's out sleeping. And I said, why do you do that? He says, because when I'm painting at night, he goes, the entire half of the, the world is, uh, of our side of the world is completely asleep and quiet and peaceful. And I said, and that's what causes me, that's what uh, gets me to focus on my artwork. And, and when I'm focused on it, there's no distractions, no phone calls, there's no knocking on doors, there's no inter interruptions. It's, it's just me directly focused on my art. I was like, wow. I was like, I was like, you really put a lot of passion into into what you do. And I said, do you know how great your artwork is? He goes, well, what do you mean? I said, you have one of the most amazing art I've ever seen. And he goes, you really think so? I never forget the matter. I never forget those words. Do you really think so? I said, I said they're unbelievable. I was like, I was like, and then he says, well, let me explain something about this. Then he had a line of art, and he says, well, let me tell you something about this art piece. I said, can you explain what they are? And he starts. And then each, each each version of art had a story that somehow he connected with each other painting mm -hmm. that had nothing to do, that I couldn't tell had anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, I was like, you just, I was like, that was a great story. I was like, what if we converted that into a, a movie, a film? Mm -hmm. He says, well, what do you mean? I said, well, that was an amazing story. And what if we converted that into a film, into casting and characters and actors and he says and he just he was like really? and then somehow this energy just started evolving mm -hmm. in the studio with the art and storytelling and and meanings and um and then two years later um after living in that studio i living around his art and
and, and sleeping around his art. I basically felt a part of his art. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I realized, what if I am an art piece? What if I am an art? Just drawn out, which which we are. We're all, mm -hmm. we're all drawn out. We're, we're an art, too. This is my opinion, but just, I just would actually put together, you know. But we're basically an art, but if you can actually draw and design and create art, um, that's not, that's basically a gift that not any person has. Can yeah. do. And um, to make a long story short, um, <clears throat> two years later we basically signed um, production, film uh, producer and director were just basically starting 5EW at a film production. Mm -hmm. um, after all the years that art was already developed since you know, since maybe the 90s, since mm -hmm. he was five years old. Um, f uh, film production came in, and um, and that was basically a whole different vision, but somehow connected with the same vision as art, mm -hmm. which is not distracting us from our major focus. So a lot of the, uh, so the story, so the story we were basically sharing is uh, a lot of his art shares his emotions, it has to do with some of its history, with his um, with his life events, um, series, um, episodes, and so on. So, um, and now there's very dramatic, unique, um, and amazing individuals that were a part of of this um, of his life since since they, since he was a teenager. So there was a group of people that were part of his life that, out of all the people that we knew, there was very few that actually stuck around. Yeah. It's a story about.